What is going on, FG3000? Back in the place to be, and welcome back to Alchemy Stars. Now, Alchemy Stars is quickly becoming that game that every single time you hear about it in the news, it's usually something positive, right? Either they have this update with streamlining their quality of life, or they have some event where they're giving away a ton of free summons. And even right now, right, they have this one year anniversary coming up with a hundred free summons, new story, new characters. They even have this new gameplay mode that when I saw the video of it, I'm like, dude, this doesn't even look like it belongs in Alchemy Stars, but apparently it's some type of like Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon type gameplay mode where you can farm and interact with some of your other units and decorate and chop down trees. And I'm like, dude, what? What is even going on in the world of Alchemy Stars? I have got to see. So in today's video, let's go ahead and reinstall Alchemy Stars and see what's going on. So all that stuff that I just mentioned doesn't happen until June the 2nd, but why not get an early head start, shall we? Um, so there is a welcome back campaign. So that's gonna give you a ton of free resources there. So if you played the game before, log on in, there's gonna be some upgrade materials. This is the uh, currency to do summon. So yeah, you might wanna go ahead and log in now. That way you can start building up some of these day, um, these day free summons here. So that way when the anniversary hits, you can also summon on the banner with the new characters. Um, that's stamina, upgrade materials, all kinds of stuff there. Um, returner quest. We'll take that. Returner gifts, free, I'll click that. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, looks like there's some paid packs for returners as well. Dude, a story recap. I'm, I'm gonna click that real quick. A story recap, are you serious? Very cool. All right, we're gonna skip that for the sake of the YouTube, but yo, a story recap, that's nice. And then here is a resource raid, 100% um, extra looty ooty ooties. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay here so I can see if I can remember how I played this game. So that's where I left off. I'm on chapter 814. Um, in this game, we have your good old fashioned resource grind. So you have resource grinds to upgrade your Colossus, to get gold, upgrade materials, and equipment materials. Secret territory, what is secret territory again? Oh, this is the, the labyrinth style mode here. Um, I wonder if they change anything as far as the quality of life on this. Let's. Uh, oh yes, they do have auto exploration on the good old fashioned labyrinth mode. You love to see. So you can kind of just like blow through these. So instead of having to do all the encounters, you just hit auto explore. <laughs> Dude, that is pretty good. Very, very nice. So this is the labyrinth mode, quite streamlined. This used to take a long time to do. Now look at this. Uh. I'll just do that, I guess. <laughs> Here you go, guys. I'm sure someone has some low HP. Very, very nice. All right, I'm gonna go for like the double swords here. Can you auto explore the boss as well? I wanna double check. Uh, let's just do more HP, I guess. And then here is the actual boss for this floor. Okay, so you actually have to do the boss encounters. Uh, but my squad looks pretty good. So let's jump into combat here. Secret territory, nice upgrade. Uh, that's actually that's I think that's actually smart, right? Allow players to kind of just blow through all the fodder levels, but then you know require them to play the boss stages. I think that's fine. Can I play it on auto? <laughs> I gotcha. Ain't gonna require me to do nothing. <laughs> so let's see what my team here can do. Um, I didn't. This is the team that past FG made for this gameplay mode, so I'm gonna trust his judgment. He clearly knew what he was doing back in the days when he made this team. So who am I to disagree? All right, very, very nice. Vice representing. Vice is one of those rare, very rare uh, main characters that you get for free that's actually relevant and usable for a long time. So very, very nice. I also hear that they have uh, enhanced the autoplay as well. So autoplay is supposed to be a little bit better than it was before, but apparently it takes like more battery juice. I, I don't know. I haven't done that much research. <laughs> I, haven't done, I haven't really done that much research on it, but I heard that the autoplay did get better. So dude, look at us go. Aurora time going at it, dropping bombs. All right, we're about to really see. That's my heal there, so a little top off. Dude, you still ran through a bomb. I mean, it probably was worth it there. Probably definitely worth it. I, I feel like I'm triggering way more Aurora time than I ever see my autoplay do before. So so maybe at, at a glance, at my with my untrained eye, it looks like it's a little better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so he's about to blow up this entire red little section here on the board. What is the autoplay going to do? Eh, you know what? Go for the jugular. <laughs> no, nah, nowhere close to being able to kill him just yet. So we're going to take a little bit of damage. Let's see how much damage it... Ah, that's nothing. That's nothing. But it looks like we do get a stun here as well. 
There's barely any blue tiles on the board. Ooh, very nice move to do the Iron Jaw first with the heal to the Vice Ultimate. Yes, Rapid Torrent. So you do more damage the more blue tiles are on the board. So shout out to the AI for actually doing that in the right order. Better than I would have did it. <laughs> nah, I would have I did it right. So not bad. So that is Secret Territory. That's the Labyrinth mode. Lots of streamlining, lots of quality of life. Very, very nice. Um, generates an image of the detonator Aurorian, releasing skills at the starting point. Support Aurorians. Normal attacks inflict blindness. And normal, uh, we'll go for that. I like that. The Falling Sakura. So that's just the first floor, right? So I think in this game, there's like three floors that you go through. Um, same thing, auto these little fodder stages, defeat the boss. Very, very nice. Let's see what else is going on here in the world of uh, Alchemy Stars here. So these are like the little side stories. Dude, I never even finished the side story. Here are all the side stories here. Very cool. I'll save that for another time. We have Spire, which I'm not very good at. Um, but these are going to be the elemental specific dungeons here. So you got Frost, Molten, Emerald, and Thunderbolt. And basically here, you can only bring that specific type to this dungeon. So I can only bring Fire to this dungeon. And I believe that uh, my Molten Fire team was probably one of my stronger ones when it came to just like elemental specific. But I do not remember... Dude, why do, the, why do the background graphics look better? Like, I, for some reason, the background graphics look better to me. And I can't I can't put my finger on it, but they do look a little better. <laughs> but yeah, that's my fire team here. I'm not going to go through a Spire run, but very cool. This is like one of those gameplay modes where it kind of pushes you to make sure that you have a lot of diversity in your squad. Where you have, you know, a full, a full team of people that are in el every single element type. That's basically what this gameplay mode is all about here. And then we have Calamity Codex, which I actually have no idea what this is. So when all else fails, let's just jump on in and see what Calamity Codex is all about. So it's just like a nefarious dawn. Oh, dude, you're tiny. <laughs> dude, I ain't worried about you, scrub. <laughs> so is this just uh, a gameplay mode where you try to just do as much damage as possible? Looks like it's racking up my damage here. Can we get some? Yes, very, very nice. More Aurora time. Vice doing that long range damage you love to see. Oh, dude, this is uh, way stronger than I thought it was. We're already dead. <laughs> We're already dead. I was talking trash about how tiny it was. <laughs> That's what she said. It's high noon. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're not ready for this. <laughs> but we're going to go out with a bang, I guess. Crimson Sakura. Let's see how much more damage we can do here. Yeah, these little plants do a ton of damage. But maybe we can eke out a little bit of a... Okay, we're still on the board. Can we get 69% damage before we die? Summoning these little... These little plant thingies are super strong, dude. Couldn't get 69%. I'm so sad. So that's my current damage, 57,000. Um, that is the Calamity Codex. And it looks like... What do we have here? I'm in bronze. Oh, very nice. So time until current campaign ends is three days and 15 hours. So very cool. Let's take a look at that. So based on your score, this is going to show you what you're going to get as a reward at the end of the season. You got some cash shop currency and a Calamity Codex pack. This is also brand new since I last played the game. Very cool. So there you go. A nice little quick look at Alchemy Stars. I've completed all of my dailies for today. So we are good to go. So I'm just going to be kind of playing this game casually as the anniversary comes up. Um, do keep in mind that the anniversary is on June 2nd. Diablo Immortal is coming out on June 2nd. So that's the reason why I wanted to make the video early. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to have time that day to make a video. So putting this on your radar a little earlier. That way if you want to jump on into the game. Start building up rewards. Relearning the game. All that good stuff. Alchemy me stars aurora blast still here representing very very nice this is the this is just my units that i had the last time i played dude the live 2d i always forget how good the live 2d is in this game now these characters right here don't have their enhanced live 2d unlocked just yet this is just like the standard live 2d that you get when you get the character but as you power them up they get like that enhanced live 2d so this is like low d live 2d and then you get like that hd live 2d that full k live 2d later on dude that's creepy <laughs> I like it though. All right, guys, so I am out. That is Alchemy Stars, and I will see you guys at the anniversary, probably on June 3rd or June 4th, depending on how good Diablo Immortal is. All right, until then, oh wow, what the? All right, guys, I am out.